what's up it's bella welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're brand new this is my very first time filming in my new room so welcome but the whole bed is not put together so in my next few videos you should see like nice fun pillows but just bear with me for this moment i have been so excited to film this video i've been planning it for a good amount of time like doing so many notes on it and just really doing my research so yeah it's gonna be such a good video it's officially spring which is absolutely so exciting and i feel like there are so many different trends going on and there's so much diversity in the trends and i'm just absolutely loving it so in today's video i'm here to kind of just shed light on all the trends that i've been seeing and researching whether it has to do with perfume makeup sneakers outfits hairstyles kind of the whole thing so i'm gonna have timestamps either on the screen or in the description box so if you want a certain part of the video, you guys can just skip on to it. Everything I talk about will be linked down below. So if you want any of this stuff, be sure to click the description box down below and you can shop all of this stuff. And before we get started, let me know down below, what's your favorite spring trend? If you're new, I would love for you to stick around. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. I post two to three times a week. I also have so much content on TikTok. We have been growing so much. I'm so thankful. So be sure to follow me on TikTok for outfit videos and stuff like that. And also my Instagram. I would love to have you guys join and without further ado let's get started first thing i want to disclaim it does not have to be a trend for you to wear it anything that anybody puts on is their idea of what they feel confident and comfortable in so please do not feel forced to wear any of this stuff i just personally feel like this is such a fun video and i'm really into fashion and this is just something i'm so excited for so let's not get into it but you can wear whatever you want it does not have to be on trend wear whatever makes you feel confident and that is your own true fashion this is your guide to the 2021 fashion forecast let's get into it i'm so pumped Okay, so the very first thing that I am going to hit are sneakers. I am a sneakerhead, as all of you probably know. I just absolutely love them. Stay tuned for sneaker collection coming very soon. But I am so excited that pastels are also a part of the whole spring trend. I just feel like pastels and sneakers are just chef's kiss. So the first pair are the Dunk High Sale Football Grays. These are from StockX. They will be linked down below. They're almost like a light purple. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It kind of washes it out, but they are so beautiful. This is just such a classic silhouette. Dunks are just such an OG. And not to mention this beautiful colorway, like absolutely stunning. This is gonna go with so many spring trends and just trends throughout the year. So anything pastel, anything sneakers, especially this pair is going to be super, super on point. And I have not seen a lot of people wear these. So if you want to try it and be a little bit different, I would definitely go for a pair like this. Another pair I also recommend are Jordan 4s. These are the Guava Ice Union LA ones. I've had these for a bit. And I've always been kind of like, not scared to like style them, but just kind of not really sure of when to wear them. And I feel like now is the perfect time because this year things will go crazy. Like fashion wise, things are going to be absolutely so out of the box. I feel like it's going to push so many people to find their true style, which makes me really happy because i feel like it's so hard for people to find their style so i feel like just having you know color on sneakers or color on a shirt or anything really truly is just going to bring something out of someone so i think these are a perfect example there's some light pink there's some really fun colors so this is also another amazing choice and of course i will need other different kinds down below for you guys to shop that aren't just these two pair i'm sorry did someone say exposed seams and distressed seams because i think they did yes this is another huge trend and i'm absolutely here for it this is actually a trend back like in fall and it's like back again but in different types of colors so i'm really excited for it so these two things right here are both from shop colorful natalie i will link them down below as always now i'm not sure if this top is sold anymore but this is honestly just a true example of what i'm talking about really kind of cut up a lot of exposed seams it looks ragged it looks undone and that is the point of it it's supposed to look unfinished it's just such a staple piece and it really does make a huge statement now i do believe this one is still on her website because i just actually purchased it this one is super super fun i feel like this one actually is more like fall winter colors and this one is more spring and summer but who cares here we go again with the different kind of patterns and the different kind of colors and also the exposed ripped seams so this is another great example of kind of my inspiration and obviously i will link other types down below but this color is really in right now this sage green like chef's kiss again it's so beautiful we've got dark brown which is also super in right now and obviously cream is always in so this is adorable super nice super light and definitely recommend and I'm sure you've seen pants like this everywhere. These are actually from Adika. 
they are just going to be like a pooled type of denim so they are a little bit see-through so do be careful i'd wear like biker shorts under them or like boy shorts you know something to you know cover you up a little but they are just denim with pooled fabric and this is also another huge trend right now i think it's super out of the box and i love how like i said diverse trends are starting to become and how just funky and bright and crazy they're starting to become because like i said i feel like it truly brings out the best in people like being super comfortable in what they love so this is another fun trend so here for it i love the bagginess of them i just love how ragged they look and they're just so beautiful so my next trend is going to be pastels which i already kind of tied in with the sneakers that i was talking about both pairs of them and i'm gonna tie it in with this top because this is also another really trendy color going on right now sorry guys my top is like really like out there and i'm just trying to make sure i don't show anything that i don't want to show this specific top is from princess polly it's called the radix top and this is the shade green they also have pink halters are super in right now i think that halters are like 70s and 80s correct me if i'm wrong i'm really doing my best to educate myself a lot more in a field that i really love which is fashion but everyone makes mistakes so i might have said that wrong but this color you guys it looks so flattering on any skin tone any size any shape everybody can rock this color everybody can rock any color for that matter but this is just such a flattering color i absolutely love it so this is definitely something that i would keep my eyes on the lookout for if you're shopping and you want something that's going to be super trendy and on like key for like this upcoming spring this color halter tops and also pastels just in general this is a beautiful like light kind of mint sage i'm so here for it something else that speaks to me are going to be slacks which goes into my next kind of trend that i'm going to be talking about we're going to call this one business ultra casual, which is what I've been seeing everywhere. And I really feel like that is kind of the best way to embody this trend because we've heard of business casual, but I feel like the ultra part is really going to get you on the really streetwear edgy kind of vibe of it and the funkiness of it. Another item from Princess Polly, they're going to be that business casual kind of slack, but also really open pants. These specific ones are called the Archer pants in the shade pink, and I do have these in a US 8. They fit really nice in the waist, and they fit really baggy everywhere else. Kind of like a mom jean vibe. I would even love to pair these pants with these shoes because at the bottom they have that color pink. I just think that is such a staple. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. We're here for it. We love it. I feel like to make this outfit just come together, you would need like some sort of crop top and maybe like a really like nice oversized jacket, which I'll show you guys one in a few moments or like a chiffon sheer kind of jacket to still give it that business vibe, but throw your own flair to it. You can do that with the accessories throw your own flair with your makeup, your perfume, literally so many things are noticeable, but always make whatever you wear, you make it match you and make it your style. I feel like that's my best like tip and trick, you know, of like finding your style. This is kind of a jacket I'm talking about. It's really hard to see. This one's from Sheen. I probably wouldn't shop on them again just because of the whole like processing and the making of their clothing. I had no idea about that before I placed this order a few months back, but this jacket is really nice. It's definitely something that I am going to be trying to find a better version of it um, because it is made a little bit cheap, but it does work. Like it still is a super good jacket. So it's just gonna be like a nice like, little collar jacket and it's gonna be super open, super baggy and that's what's gonna give it that business ultra vibe. I'm gonna pop up two photos on the screen. One is gonna be what you, you would naturally see someone who does business wear with one of these jackets, gonna be a lot tighter of a fit. But when you talk about business ultra casual, this is the type of photo that you're gonna see. You're gonna see it baggy, more streetwear style, and more of a unique style that coincides with you. And that's the whole point of this trend. And then here are two type of chiffon shirts that I'm talking about. I'll throw up some photos of me on the screen wearing these. These are from Misguided. These tops are what you would see someone wearing like a button up. You know those ones from Express. I forgot the name of them, but they're from Express and they have like a whole section of them. And they're like silks, like sleek tops that a lot of people wear for business. Well, this is going to be a different type of material and it's just gonna be a lot more open. You're gonna wear it with like a crop top or some sort of printed top and really make this the business ultra casual vibe. I hope I'm making sense. And if you guys need any more explanation, let me know because I would love to get further explanation. Okay, corsets are all the talk right now. So I'm gonna talk about them, but it's not really something that I can wear. I am a D up here and I just feel like on me, it's not the most flattering and it's not something I'm really the most comfortable in. And let me know if you guys have the same problem, if you're kind of the same size and bust area as me, but I do have two that I do enjoy. Like I do think they're cute. So I bought this one from Urban thinking it would fit me and I never tried it on. And now that I have it, I'm like, no, it doesn't work. 
the color is absolutely beautiful and I love just the whole embellishment on it. It's like little hearts like on the corset, but man, this just does not fit me up here. I just feel like I have too much spillage and too much going on, but I do feel like my body type doesn't fit this and I know like anybody can wear anything and you totally can, but I don't feel like it's very flattering on me, so I'm not going to wear it, but on other people, I'm like, oh, I envy you. Like, I wish I could look this good in a corset, but let's see if I can show you. Maybe a leather one would work better on me, maybe, but this is what it looks like. I love the bag. I just think this color is like everything that I was talking about for spring. This is not a true corset, but it gives the corset vibe and it fits me better than this one does because it has straps. So it's also from Urban. I've had it for a bit though, so I'm not sure if it's available anymore. I'm sorry. I'll do my best to find a similar version, but it's got the corset type vibe in the middle, slinky in the back, and it's got a lot of material on the front to really emphasize the vibe of it. So this is something that I would personally go more towards rather than one with no straps. But that's just my personal preference. I also know Amazon has a lot of fun corsets, so I will be sure to link a few down below that I see on Amazon. Okay, I think this is definitely my favorite trend of them all, and that is going to be printed pants. I'm a printed pant queen. Like, I think that is my favorite trend that has ever come about in my life are printed pants. I just think they're such a statement. Like, they really just, I, they're beautiful. I love them. So these have been a trend for a bit, but these are just going to be zebra printed pants. These are my favorite. So these are from Shop Colorful Natalie. I just purchased these but they are cartoons. Like, look, there's cartoons in them. Super amazing fabric. I absolutely love it. I'm going to pair this with an orange crop top and the white chiffon, like little open business casual vibe that I just showed you guys. I just think that is such a vibe in itself. Like, oh, beautiful. But yeah, these are cartoons. I love these so much. They're just so cute and they're very comfortable. Now these, I just got these. This top and these pants are from Motel Rocks, which is one of my favorite, if not my favorite online store. These are so insanely fun. I'm going to try and do try on clips for most of this stuff for you guys to be able to see. But wow, these are beautiful. I also do a lot of TikTok try on hauls where I try on all this stuff. But wow, absolutely so stunning. I love these. I love the checkered. I love how we're bringing like the brown vibe back and it goes with this top. It's just it's adorable. And then these are going to be jeans. These are from Princess Polly. So they have like paint all over them kind of. And they're just super out there. I wore these on my Instagram, so be sure to check it out. But another really nice fashion trend that it looks like it was DIY, but it's not. But you could totally DIY this if you want. It's just not. I'm not really DIY-y, if that makes sense. Like, I just can't. I feel like I always mess up. You know what I mean? And printed tops are also another win in my book. I love printed tops. This one is from Shop Week in Therapy. I linked it on my Instagram post, so be sure to check it out. But this is so fun and I love the back. It is open, has this little like tie. It's kind of like this crisscross, but in the back. And then you just kind of cinch it up and tie it yourself. I love this. It is so beautiful. It's just so fun and I love the coloring. I just love everything about it. And the print is like I said, very funky. It's going to get crazy with the mixing patterns and mixing prints and just the different colors that kind of don't make sense, that kind of clash. It just goes. This spring, it just goes. Now I will say this is definitely by far my favorite printed shirt that I have. I love all of the blues. I hate to say it, but this one is from Shein, but it ties up like on the side. I styled this really well with the business ultra casual jacket and some white shorts on my TikTok. But yeah, I just really love this one as well. It's super fun. And I think anything with squiggles we've known for the past like a little bit is just everything that everyone wants. Squiggles is it. Moving on to makeup. I know this is something that I've actually always loved, but I've gotten into it more recently, which is blush. Like an insane amount of blush on my face. I want it to look like I just ran a marathon. I mean, not like in a horrible way, but I really want it to look like I have so much flesh on my cheek and I just like look like spring. I want to embody spring. My favorite blush to do that with, which is actually one that I have fully made a huge dip in, is by Patrick Ta. This is She's Passionate. This is by far my favorite blush. Like, I hold this thing near and dear to my heart. I love it so insanely much. It's beautiful. It is the most perfect color for any skin tone. It is that perfect true pink, but it has a really nice neutral tone behind it. So I recommend this one. It stays on all day on my face and just gives the most perfect flush. And the more you do apply, it doesn't get cakey, so which I appreciate. And something else I've always been into, which I'm so excited it's starting to get more spotlight, is lip lining. I feel like that is a huge thing right now. I love lip lining like so much. I'm wearing lip liner right now. I just feel like it really just makes your lips just like 
way more intense, which it's supposed to, but I just feel like on anyone, lip liner is the move. It just, it gives you like lip injections in 0.2 seconds that, you know, we can't go get. So I love lip liner. This is my favorite one. It's by Patrick Ta and it's the shade Oshi oh, Single. It's the most perfect neutral for my skin tone, which is like a medium olive skin tone, but I do recommend this one a lot. And I typically pair off my lip liner with a fun gloss. So this is my favorite one. It's 007 Dior Glow Lip Oil. I've been through about 20 of these. That is no exaggeration. I love this. The color pink it gives my lips is another times three chef's kiss it is beautiful love it so much it's really just faint on the lips but it gives that perfect like flush and it's not sticky and it's super glossy and just looks so beautiful it has like a really pretty mirror effect okay and these are going to be two perfumes that i really love that really just embody spring and super like nice and light but not too florally so this is valentino i don't know the name of this one it just came out, I do know that. It's like the newest one. It's gonna be like the one with like the yellow sort of packaging. So beautiful. Oh, it's so different. When I smelt it at first, I was like, Ugh, not really my vibe, but then I bought it and I was like, okay, this is my vibe. Once it kind of got into my skin and just did its thing, I was like, okay, I really like this. So I recommend this one a lot. I'm not gonna like describe perfumes, so be sure to just go give it a smell like in store, but I got this at Nordstrom and it's just the new Valentino one, which I will link down below. But this one, on the other hand, absolutely so amazing. This is Chanel Utendra Edu Toilette. This is my OG, and I just feel like in the spring, it's highlighted even more. It's really nice, light, feminine scent, but it has like a little bit of floral to it. I think it has patchouli in it, which I'm always super drawn towards. And it's just such a beautiful, light scent, but it does last all day. All right, that is about all I have for you guys today. This was such a fun video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I am so here for all the pastel trends, for all the, you know, business, like weird trends. Like, I'm just here for it all. I really think that we're making such a breakthrough in the fashion industry of just embracing, oh my gosh, like everything. Like you're literally embracing everything that goes on your body, you're embracing your insecurities. So it really makes me happy to know that these trends are super out there, like these tops and stuff. They're gonna put you out of your comfort zone, but I believe that everyone has their own style and I believe that you can rock anything you want to as long as you are confident and your chin is up. If you guys want me to do a lookbook of fashion trends or spring lookbook, let me know. I'll do one next week. Just let me know down below or any other sort of lookbook. Um, I'd be more than happy to do so, but I love you guys so much. Be sure to check out the description box down below for links to all of this stuff and more. Follow my social medias, my TikTok. I post, like I said, a lot on there. And be sure to just have a stroll on my Instagram as well. You guys are so beautiful. My quote for today is, your time is too valuable to waste time on negativity. Please make sure that you are aware of what you're putting your valuable energy into. If it's negative, do not put your energy into it. You guys, it is so draining on your mind, your spirit, your body, your soul, everything. So please be careful like who you're in contact with and all this stuff because it does take a toll on you at one point or another. Stay beautiful, my people. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye guys. What a fun video to do. I love that.